Go. All right. Okay, my name's Jack Strongtown, work for Autodesk here in the UK. Um, today we're in Bristol and we're taking some photographs of the square here and we're looking to reconstruct it as a 3D model, uh, as either a point cloud or a 3D texture mesh that we could even do a 3D print from the results. And to do this we're, we're using this thing here called a quadcopter and the idea is to get above the limits of line of sight where you know other technologies like uh, scanners just have difficulty to capture areas. Um, this is a very affordable unit, you can buy it from the likes of Amazon or some other uh, shops as well. Um, we've got a little camera on here called a GoPro, uh, it's the Hero 3 model and we can take very good quality imagery from this camera. You can also put it in what we call time lapse mode, so it means that when we're flying this we can concentrate on flying and not worrying about the pictures because we're taking pictures either half a second or even down to 10 seconds. We usually use about five second interval so it can hover and take a photo and then keep moving it along. There it is. We're taking pictures of the trees and those buildings over there. Okay, so we're now back in the office and what we're going to do is load all these images into Recap 360, our cloud service for taking these photographs using photogrammetry techniques to convert this into a 3D texture mesh or a point cloud. So first of all, we're going to create a new photo project. And give it a project name, so Bristol. And then we've got options here on do we want to do it in a preview mode. So before you spend any, any credits to process this, just check it's going to give you sensible results. Uh, I'm going to go straight for Ultra. And we've got some smart cropping and texturing to kind of create the, the model as well. And then there's a multitude of formats that we can export to. So OBJ is a standard format for 3D textures. Uh, RCM is a special format within Autodesk uh, to use with our Memento. Uh, engine, but also I want to take an RCS file to use in, in the recap uh, point cloud tool as well and this is a much more lightweight method of using it within Civil 3D, Revit or any of these kind of tools. So next we go to upload images so we get an add files uh, section here and Sometimes it's best to go through your photographs and maybe filter out some of the uh, the ones while you're setting up the uh, the camera itself. So here are all the photographs in Windows Explorer. So obviously you can see me looking at the camera on some of these images. So we take it for what's useful and we take it to where we landed the, the aircraft so we don't want pictures of the grass. If we kind of minimize that we can just simply drag and drop onto the browser and now it'll start uploading the photographs. So here in the browser we have the view of the model. It's been restricted by the smart cropping of the area of decent quality. Um, we flew within the tree line of the park so it limited us to what data we could uh, create from that data. As we look in the recap uh, viewer, this is the free desktop viewer, we exported the RCS file and we can view the same data uh, in its higher quality and change its view. Also in AutoCAD, especially 2015 versions, we have an enhanced uh, viewing capability on point clouds this year with full real-time navigation. And then, you know, let's use this point cloud in some form. Here in InfraWorks, I've built a model of Bristol using the model builder and place the point cloud in the park so very easy to capture objects another example here this is uh, an example we show on the website which is uh, an old uh, battery in San Francisco 
and we've brought the same data into Revit and been able to work up like a restaurant proposal here using the point cloud as backdrop and been able to design against it in Revit.